since my role was police and crime commissioner to draw up a strategy for policing in the form of a police and crime plan. Since I was re-elected in May, I've been working to develop a new police and crime plan to help shape the way the county is policed and influence the wider community safety partnership approach across Lancashire. The role of the police and crime plan is set out in law. It should determine, direct and communicate my police and crime plan priorities during my period in office. Since 2015, as well as setting the direction for the police as commissioner, I've also been responsible for providing services to victims and witnesses of crime. We have transformed the way we deliver services to victims of crime in Lancashire. And this new service and promise to crime victims is very evident in my new plan. And in 2016-17, we expect to provide help and support to around 60,000 crime victims. I'm Josh Durham and I'm the um, outreach worker for Victims Voice which is the Lancashire Victim Services Specialist Hate Crime Support Service. People can self-refer or they can be referred in by a third party or by organisations like the police, the council, housing associations. As part of my role, I need to engage with the Chief Constable and his team, stakeholders and partners from across the public sector, victims of crime and the public in really understanding their needs and the local and more wide-ranging issues facing Lancashire in terms of crime and safety. We've carried out detailed research with crime victims to understand their needs. I've held roadshows around the county to engage with the public and sought their views online. I've also engaged with stakeholders and partners from the police, local authorities, criminal justice services, voluntary services and charities to really understand local needs. My office engages on a regular basis with the public in Lancashire and so we have every confidence in the findings of our most recent consultation as not only did we get a good return with 1,672 surveys completed but also the public's priorities have consistently remained the same over the past two years. What the consultation showed is that the top three priorities of Lancashire residents are number one, solving major crimes such as murder, rape and serious assaults. Number two, protecting our children from child sexual exploitation and abuse. And number three, providing counter-terrorism support and tackling serious and organised crime. The public do want police patrols in neighbourhoods where there are regular reports of crime there doesn't seem to be a lot of police activity needed, but maybe that's because the police is there. But they don't prioritise patrols in low crime areas. In fact, they are more likely to think an area has a crime issue if they see police on a regular basis. I spoke to Clive today. My concerns have been mainly about some possible recreational drug use in my area. I did feel I was listened to. I did feel I was able to get my points across. What has come through loud and clear in the consultation is that the public want to know that the police will be there when they are needed to keep them safe and make sure crimes are investigated. The work we're doing today will have real dividend and longevity. Uh, some of the areas that we've discussed today about leveraging uh, better outcomes for people, uh, making a difference to people, making them safer, more resilient, more confident as communities are absolutely the right things we should be doing. Other things influencing my new plan include the increase in crime and the changing nature of demand. Crime last year rose by 4.6% with sexual offences and violent crime seeing concerning levels of increase and my plan needs to look at what, we, what can be done to tackle these worrying trends. What we have also seen here in Lancashire is the knock-on effects of the reduction in public sector funding, what is impacting on calls for service. In the last three years the number of 999 calls has grown dramatically and we are now seeing on average 18,000 calls per month. But the increase in demand is not always crime related. In fact, only about 19% of staff time is spent on crime related issues, compared to 34% on 
on public safety and welfare issues as reduced resources across the NHS and social services often mean police are the service of last resort. This is at a time when we have seen the number of officers in Lancashire fall by 750, so the need to work differently and respond differently to crime is inevitable. Crime as we know it has changed beyond recognition in the last 10 years. We're seeing more violence against the person. We've got a better understanding and awareness of domestic abuse, which continues to be an issue. Child sexual exploitation and now modern day slavery are significant issues facing communities. Cybercrime, the supply of drugs, violence between groups and gangs, and the exploitation of vulnerable people are all crimes we are tackling here in Lancashire. There are many different things influencing the plan and the way we set priorities for policing in Lancashire. The way that the police work has had to change to take into consideration the reduction in resources, both financial and in terms of staff, but also to tackle the changing nature of crime. Cybercrime needs a different approach. Busy people don't want to wait for a police officer to turn up to take their crime report so we are changing the way people report crimes, taking more details over the phone and online. I know that we are doing what we can to keep them safe. And so, with all these things taken into consideration, four priorities have emerged that will shape the work of the police and partners in keeping Lancashire safe. My number one priority is to protect local policing. It's what the public and our partners want me to do. And although I recognise that the nature of the way that we police is changing, the local policing teams will continue to operate here in Lancashire. They will know their areas and local people will know them. We'll work with partners to improve joint working. Our citizens in policing programme will continue to grow and we will see an increased use of specials, cadets, and neighbourhood watch coordinators supporting the local community. Today we've got the Cadet Fest 2016 occurring at Lancashire Police Headquarters. My role has been event manager. The cadets will take part in a range of activities. And there's some fitness activities. We've got the bungee pull behind me, this laser tag, public order kit up, and then we've got some that challenge the mind. So we've got an evidence hunt where the cadets have to look for pieces of evidence in a crime scene. I will continue to campaign and lobby for fair funding for our police services and ensure that we make the best use of our land and buildings and ensure that we use ICT to improve service and engagement. Tackling crime and re-offending is what the public of Lancashire expect the police to do and the police and my team will work with the criminal justice partners on crime reduction initiatives. The police will investigate and tackle serious and organised crime, including modern day slavery, cyber crime and offences against our children. I'll fund and support initiatives that help to tackle crime and re-offending in our county. The police will work to improve engagement with all our local communities to prevent and reduce crime and I will continue to support substance misuse initiatives. We'll work with partners to roll out an early action prevention based approach supporting vulnerable people with complex needs. We'll work to tackle hate crime and promote road safety with our partners. We have our perspective on what's important in terms of policing in Lancashire and we work with the Police and Crime Commission Office to develop plans and to be held accountable for what we're delivering around that. But that's our perspective. It's really important for us to talk about what our uh, issues are, what our policing challenges are with other people, to get their perspectives and for them to challenge and contribute to how we come up with our priorities. Protecting vulnerable people and victims is another key priority for the plan and reflects the new responsibilities and approach to providing services to crime victims in Lancashire. I'll commission services for victims and witnesses of crime promoting access to services. My team will coordinate the commissioning of domestic abuse services in Lancashire and ensure that victims know 
were to go for support. We'll work to combat child sexual exploitation and abuse and campaign to raise awareness, challenge offending behaviour and encourage people to seek help and support if they have suffered abuse. In addition, we'll help people on the edge of crisis through prevention and early action, working with all agencies to help people turn their lives around. We'll also work to reduce antisocial behaviour. And the final priority, which is new for this plan, is developing safe and confident communities. I want the public of Lancashire, our public, to know that the Chief Constable and his policing team deliver the highest professional and ethical standards in services. That services are accessible, open and transparent. And the public can have confidence in the police to keep them safe. My team and the constabulary will work with community safety partnerships to focus on creating more resilient and safer communities and we will encourage volunteering in local areas. Thank you.